cough, cough. Really? <laughs> it's time for reaction. Just when you thought, hey, I don't need to chip pick Lucky as my next feat. Dear Stalker Pictures is back. It's one for all time. Our three plucky adventurers. Oh, Antrius the Bard. <laughs> Evandra the Fighter. And Nixie. They're back. Again, um, are you ready? Because I've been kind of waiting for this since yesterday. But I just woke up. My name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. Got all my social media posts, Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel, and the merchandise store. I'm really tired because we were up to like 2 o'clock in the morning playing Dungeons and Dragons in a very odd way um, where uh, we kind of played kind of a bounty hunters league and my character is a bunny barbarian and his name is Leonian Barbara Coley. He's from Norway. Um, he's a bunny. Um, he wants to play heavier bard music, but um, he was laughed at while running through a bazaar, singing to people about feeling good, and they mocked him. So he he went on a bunny rage and and battle axed everyone. And now he's trying to make amends. So it was kind of a long night. Woke up anyway and said, "You know what? My three favorite uh, Australians are on the uh, YouTube, so I got to check them out." The name of this one is called Deception Check, which has me kind of thinking, yikes. No doubt. Antrius, Antonio, could probably lie his way into whatever he wants. And Eva could, yeah. Ivandra totally could do that too. She, yeah, she could do it. Nixie, mm. I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Um, I think Nixie is going to be uh, negative seven on that charisma roll. So let's check it out. Here, here we go. Here we go. Dear Stalker Pictures, one for all. It's called Deception Check. Who are you? Gods! Gods! Oh. Really? We finally snuck away into the palace to see the king... And this is what happens. What did you do that for? He was gonna call for the guards. I had to do something. What, so you cave his face in with your fist? I panicked. Bad things happen when I panic. Maybe I can just pop it back out again if I give it a squeeze. When she does that to his mind, it sounds like macaroni and cheese. Apropos, maybe? I don't know. Not for nothing, but Ivandra toying with men's minds is kind of a thing. She should, she should get a, a bonus for that. She should be able to roll for advantage on that one. Just saying. Your Majesty? Wow. Is everything all right in there? So we went from soccer mom hair to Legolas. Nice, dude. Nice. Very nice. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> all right. Here we go. The advisor knocks again, more urgently this time. What would you like to do? Yes, this is his royal majesty, King Gerald, speaking. How can I help? You can roll deception. Oh. <sighs> I apologize. I wasn't aware you were expecting guests this morning. It's so good to see you making new friends instead of just beheading everyone. But... 
Your Highness, you sound different somehow. Less high-pitched than usual. Uh, it's... it's a sore throat! There's something going around! Yes, I caught it this morning! Cough, cough. Cough, cough. <laughs> yeah. You can roll deception too. A sore throat, huh? There is something going around. You do realize there's three of them. Which means the one that's not paying attention to anything going on right now, because she's too busy snacking on hors d'oeuvres, is about to roll a natural one. You just, you just feel it. It must be quite serious. Let me come in and examine you. Uh, no, no, no. It might be contagious. I wouldn't want you to get sick. It's not serious. It's not like the king is going to die of the plague or something. I've never seen a man more alive. I'm alive! He's alive? He's alive? No, he's not. He's dead. He's dead? He's dead? Yeah, uh, no. Uh, I mean, yes. I'm dead. <laughs> That's it. I'm coming in. No! <laughs> oh, the good one, Your Majesty! That was so funny! <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Your Majesty, you are killing me. Whoa! Who said anything about killing? I would never kill a man. Especially not while he's enjoying his breakfast. That would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? But, Your Majesty, why is your face covered in blood? Oh, it's just jam from the strawberry tarts that we've been eating. Oh, Your Majesty, you're so clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> strawberry always was his favorite. What do you mean was? Oh, well, Gerald could never get enough. You must try some. It's delicious. Mm. It is delicious. Forgive the intrusion, sire. I'll leave you to your fruity dessert. Now, this isn't something that um, is just for Deerstalker or for One for All or this these three characters, um, classic storytelling says they're going to come this close to getting away with it and the foil of the group will give it away. 20 bucks says we all know who the foil is going to be. Let's watch. I have no idea how you talked your way out of that. You have the charisma of a rock. It was surprisingly easy. The trick is to just roll really well every time. Oh uh, yeah, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> you mean like this? Oh, there was just one more thing. <gasps> oh no, he had a heart attack. <laughs> Gods, these ruffians have killed the king. I think you'll find we didn't kill the king. Gods, these ruffians did not kill the king. But who did? You did. <gasps> these tarts were poisoned. <gasps> no, not the one you're eating. The one he was eating. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <sighs> this isn't even the king's advisor. He's an imposter! No. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you. If he says, and your dog, I'm done. You meddling adventurers! And this isn't even the oh, king! Well, I tried. It's the king's double. I knew he looked different from his picture. If he's the king's double, who is the real king? I am. You drop this king. Your majesty. Guards, arrest this man. Honestly, I'm not mad. 
I'm just disappointed. Nice. He dad rolled that dude so hard. <laughs> it's yeah, dad roll. It's like being Rick rolled, but by your dad. See, it's that easy. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Delicious. Thanks for watching, view. I mean, some people are gonna go. Why are they calling her the king? Why are they calling her the king? I mean, Eva's a female, right? I mean, technically, I can promise you she's got a bigger dick than you. <laughs> if you couldn't guess today's moral of the story, it's if you get caught doing something bad, keep lying, you will get away with it. No, 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 I'm doing the answer. I'm doing the answer. No, no, I'm doing this. Come on, wait a sec. We have to thank Screen Australia for making this possible. And, and thanks to our Patreon. They Sorry. said they're going to pay for Sorry. my bail money. And hit that like uh, uh, icon. Smash that thing. Do the deal. I'm an elf, damn it. I'll take you to high elf court. Ah, damn it. Seriously, you gotta, you gotta smash the like thing it, it, you really do um check out their patreon um if you're not subscribed to uh here see that i am you're right there um please do so they're doing some of the best stuff about D, &D out there i mean there's a lot of channels doing com uh, different uh content about D, D, but most of it is like hey this is what you can do if you want to be a multi-class cleric um tomb Tomb cleric with, you know, uh, a, a barbarian that's, uh, I don't know, a satyr. But they're not going to do that. They're going to have fun with it. And they're really going to show off some amazing hair. Oh, by the way, um, all the characters in the party, only one of them, that's not their real hair. And I can tell you right now. Antonio does have the best hair on the series and he knows it. He's told me himself. So, <laughs> yeah, he's not a vain woman at all. <laughs> ah, they're so good. You know, you, you really got to appreciate two things. You knew it was coming. You knew Nixie was going to mess it up. But it was even better that Eva was able to roll natural 20s the entire time and really piss off the Dungeon Master. Because boys and girls, children of all ages, I don't care what your gender is around the world. I don't care who you are or how well you play D and D. If you can piss off the DM, you win. No, it, it's not wealth. It's not uh, magical items. It's not glory. It's pissing off the DM. That's how you. You didn't know that's how you won the game. Yeah, that's how you win the game. <laughs>